Hey, what's going on hybrid fam? Hunter here and today I want to talk to you about something that has really had a big impact on my life and I know it can have just as big of an impact on your life as well if you apply this one simple tip. And I want to share this tip to you through a personal story of mine and I think that way it will sink in more, maybe relate to you more. For the past six years we have had hybrid fitness here and the reason hybrid fitness started was because of how passionate I was not only in my own personal fitness, but in helping other people in their fitness as well. And it's kind of ironic that when hybrid fitness actually started, I kind of stopped working out myself. The limited resources of time and different fires to put out and new things and learning new skills to run a business, all of that distracted me from my own personal health. And I was okay with that. I do this thing. I call taking my personal inventory where every morning I basically sit in front of the, or not sit, but I stand in front of the mirror uh, and I look at myself naked in the mirror. And my fiance asked me, Hunter, why do you do that every morning? And I said, I'm taking my personal inventory. Uh, unfortunately, she has to look at that as well. <laughs> but uh, but for, for, for the course of the six years, you know, that we've been open, I've been okay with the stance of looking myself in the mirror, not seeing any changes happen. But at other times over the past six years, I would look in the mirror and I would say, well, I'm kind of not liking this right now. I'm not liking what I see or I'm not liking that I'm not progressing. You know, I've got these goals that I, I want to achieve on how I want to look, on how I want to carry myself in, in my life and in the world. And I'm not progressing in them. And even though you know, maybe I'm not, maybe I'll never get to where I want to be. I, I hope I do. But just the the fact of for, for such a long time, not seeing myself progress was painful. When I had those days, I would maybe do a little research. I would go on YouTube and I would look at people who had the physique that, that I wanted, or I would talk to some of the fellow trainers here at Hybrid Fitness and consult them. And maybe I would go talk about my goals and what I want to do. But one thing that sometimes has kept me from taking action is the idea that the plan that I have to do in order to get started has to be perfect. In order to reach this end goal, the plan has to be perfect. So instead of drawing out the perfect plan, there's two things that you can do. One is you take imperfect action. Imperfect action is instead of winding up the bow and holding it there and trying to hit the bullseye first time, it's reeling it back and letting it letting it loose, right? You might hit the top left of, of the target, but you get data, you learn from it, and then you shoot again. Then you hit the bottom right, and then eventually you're gonna hit that target. And often that's a much faster and more enjoyable path than sitting back here and procrastinating and holding that quiver because what happens is your tendons lock up, right? You get you, you get calcification, you know, in your elbow, you get arthritis. And then when you actually try and open your hand, it doesn't open yet. You, you get paralysis by analysis is, is what they call it. So one of your options is to just go take an action that moves you closer to your goal, even if you know it's not the most optimal thing to do. That's okay, because what that's gonna do is, is taking that first step is gonna help you build that momentum. It's gonna not necessarily give you the physique change that you want, but it will start to create a little bit of a change in your mindset and in your brain. And it's gonna, it's gonna be a good thing. It's gonna be a good thing because it's gonna make the next action easier. And the only way that we actually make progress and see results is by taking action. So taking imperfect action is a great step. Now look, for me, I typically am good at taking imperfect action. In fact, I surround myself with a bunch of people who are planners and who are much more structured than me. And because I'm very good at taking imperfect action and not always great at structuring things out and making them nice and pristine, right? So it's a good way to get started. It does not always mean you have to finish that way. The other option, and this is the option that I've recently chosen, is I've outsourced the, the, the things, I've outsourced my discipline. Right, so for me, it's still a time thing. It's still making time, it's putting it in the schedule and I've got so many things pulling me in different directions. I got family relationships, the business and I would continue to put myself in the back burner but if you find somebody to hold you accountable, for me in this case, I've hired Brandon at Hybrid Fitness to personal train me, 
then you don't have to think about it and you let somebody else take responsibility for what you're doing. And I also know that if I have an appointment, I'm not gonna miss it. So you have two options. One is take imperfect action on yourself and whatever goal you have and just do it or find somebody who now takes, I mean, you still have to take responsibility. You have to show up, but somebody else who you're not gonna let down and who you have to show up for and that will take care of it. This is something that can be applied to every part of your life, a relationship, a career, your health. Start by taking inventory, figuring out where you're at. Am I happy? Am I status quo? Am I unhappy? Then decide what does that mean to you? Are you okay with being happy? Maybe you're cool and for me and most times I'm like, you know what, I'm pretty good. But I can tell you one thing, when you look at yourself in the mirror or you take inventory, it's so much better to see some sort of progress mentally more than anything and physically than to even just be staying equal. I don't like, I don't like staying in one place. I like to be moving. I like to be trying new things. I like to be making progress towards my, we have a limited amount of time on this earth. And we have so much to experience. And for me, I wanna make sure that, that I can experience everything to its fullest. And I also wanna see my full potential. And I know that you have a piece of that inside you as well. So if it is true, then go take action today. That's your call to action. Go take action today or find somebody that will hold you accountable to take that action. And I promise you, when you take your inventory, you look at yourself in the mirror, bare naked, not hiding anything from anybody, putting it out there, you will feel better about yourself. So hopefully you found this helpful. If this was helpful, please consider hitting that like button down below or if you have questions, comment down below. And of course, please subscribe. Look, my mission on this earth is I wanna help inspire people so that they can use their strengths to create the life that they want so that they're fulfilled, so that they can help other people. And that only happens if, if people see this video. So if, if you could hit subscribe or share this with a friend, it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, small steps, big results.